Okay, I'm going to do a quick digitizing demonstration in ArcGIS Pro. Um, first thing we need to do is create an empty shape file to do our digitizing in. I'm going to show you how to create a polygon or a set of polygons in a shape file. So we're going to go to the catalog button and you should have a folder for your work. Um, right click on the folder in which you want to contain your new data set, go to new and shape file. This is going to prompt um, the create features tool to open, create feature class. Um, so you can open this directly from the geoprocessing window as well. Use the browse button to navigate to the folder that you want to put your um, new data set in if it hasn't auto-filled automatically. The second line is where you're going to put in your areas of interest, um, the name of your new data set. Yours can be different. It might be campsites or um, my house, whatever it is. Uh, geometry type should autofill the polygon because that's what we chose. If you changed your mind and decided you wanted to make this a line file or point file, you could change it here. Okay, uh, you don't need a temp template feature class. We don't have an M and a Z value, but the coordinate system, you can't overlook this. So I am going to go ahead and digitize in Mantua um, so I can use the current map, which is set to NAD 83 UTM zone 12. Um, look at the instructions. If you're working someplace else like Alaska or Maine or something like that, you're going to need to find the correct coordinate system for the location that you're working. Um, check the instructions. And then we don't need an alias. When I'm all set, I'm going to hit run. And it automatically adds my new data set to the table of contents. Um, it's using a default kind of purple color. There's nothing here because I haven't created any data yet. All right, so then we're going to go to the Create Features window, and you can see that it's already added my polygon shape file here, points for the study sites, and then the rectangle means polygon. Um, I can click on this, and it brings up the list of tools. I just want the standard polygon tool. Just curious. Yeah, okay. And then I'm just going to click to start creating my shape. Every time I click with the cursor, um, it creates a vertex. Don't worry about it overlapping like this. It'll work itself out. You just want to keep going. And it'll auto-fill the shapes area. Double click to end. When you're done, you want it to have this blue outline. That means that the sketch is complete. Um, so double click or you can right click to finish the sketch. Uh, it's in here somewhere. I just can't see it. Finish part. No. Anyway, maybe it only shows up if you actually have to finish the sketch. Um, make sure you save your edits. So under the edit tab, you want to save. Saving the map, like doing the project save, is a completely different thing. The edits are something that's happening to this data set, and that happens outside of the project. You're working on it in the project, but saving this new data set is separate than saving the, the working memory of your project. So make sure you're using the Save button to save the work you're doing as you edit. Okay, then you can go in and you can um, change transparency and, and symbolize it however you want afterward. Um, if I want to change what I'm doing, uh -huh. okay, if I, sorry, what I was saying is if I want to change what I've done, I can use the Edit Vertices button up here and it's going to show me all the vertices that I clicked on, and I can pick them up and move them and change my shape, click off to save the changes. So again, if I just didn't like where I put that one and I want to move that point out here, then click off to force the change. Okay, questions? Let us know. Thanks.